Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I think we're due for an Eden run. And we've been playing pretty good lately. We did get our ass completely saved. How to jump, missing page, and a little bit of extra HP. 743Z. DMQD. Just good advice, I guess, in general. How to jump, uh... Could be interesting. <laughs> I... I have less respect for this item than I should. I think our rate of fire is pretty solid. Damage seems average, I guess. Like, this is a pretty average start for that kind of stuff. We could get rid of how to jump for Book of Sin early. Uh, I know that this is going to make some people a little bit perturbed, but for me personally, I think that this is probably going to have cumulative effects greater than how to jump would. But maybe I'll roll how to jump. I kind of use these Eden uh, runs as an excuse to figure out how to use items that maybe I'm not necessarily super familiar with. You know, kind of force my hand a little bit. What's the point of playing as Eden if we're just going to use exactly the same items that we always use? So we have one key and there's 14 cents on this room. That's pretty stellar. We can get that easily without even having to use any bombs. Although there are bombs available that I just did not go pick up. Kind of feel though that we should like use how to jump. Oh, there's only one bomb. We should use how to jump like on rooms where we don't get charges, like rooms where we've already defeated them, and use uh, Book of Sin on other rooms, but whatever, it, it's relatively minor, I don't think it's going to make an enormous difference. At the very least, good chance to buy another Spirit Heart here if necessary, and I'll completely ignore my earlier advice and just go fight these enemies. Um, yeah, at, at worst we could buy like a Spirit Heart with this. At best, maybe we get enough money to buy an item and still have an arcade uh, possible on the next floor. Which will be really good financially for us over the course of the game. I don't really love the idea of doing these big rooms, to be honest with you. But I'm going to do them. Because of inertia. Inertia is a very powerful thing. Aren't you hot? Yeah. Well, why don't you take off your jacket? Eh, they're not saying, uh. They're saying, uh, inertia. Inertia is very powerful. That's why um, bad companies said, hey, if you don't like what you got, why don't you change it? Oh, I never really thought about that. If the world is all screwed up, rearrange it. I don't know about the raise a little hell part. Like, if you're raising hell in, like, a civically responsible way, then that's cool. If you're just being an asshole, then you're just being an asshole, aren't you? Anyway, I don't think Bad Company was necessarily trying to incite people to be jerk holes. This is a huge floor. A first floor with three big rooms is uh, a travesty of the highest magnitude. In Isaac terms, at least. Um, it's an international Isaac war crime, basically. We got an extra kill there, much to my surprise. Any enemies? There we go. There's one. We'll miss him completely and then not be able to hit him because he's tucked in behind there. And there we go. This room is really fun. I had a great time on it. Let's go see what we've got going on in our shop while we're here. Yeah, Black Candle's an easy pickup. No brainer. All of a sudden, it feels like we cranked up the Gamma stat. And we'll pick up enough money to get an arcade on the next floor. So we did have to blow up our donation machine to make it happen. But hey, man. Necessity is the spice of life. No one ever says that. I don't think there's anything in here. But it was like, you know, worth a shot, right? Alright, let's go fight our boss. I'm, I'm feeling very confident about how things are going to work out for us. Uh, on this floor in particular. Who knows what the future may hold. But that's half the fun. Alright, Blue Larry Jr. Assuming we don't get hit, this is amazing for us because we will get a Spirit Heart. Even if we get hit twice, it'll still be pretty good. If we get hit four times, five times, six times, at least we still will be getting a Spirit Heart to protect our interests on the next floor. So because our HP is going to be so relatively solid, I am going to be hoping for uh, damage DPS upgrades here. Wouldn't mind a speed upgrade just to kind of insulate me from bad pills. But uh, definitely, you know, tiers and damage upgrades are what I'm going to be mostly looking for. Or... You know, like kind of a starter kit. Like if you want to give me, uh, if you want to give me the crate or something like that, squeezy, something that really buffs us up for consumables. Pageant boy is not necessarily terrible. It sucks that we didn't get any uh, any nickels or dimes in it, but at the same time, it makes it very, very likely we'll be able to make this happen on the next floor, or on this floor. I mean, with with respect to our finances, so that's pretty awesome. And bare minimum we'll be picking up 15 cents here and that will allow us to buy whatever we want from our shop or not whatever we want but at the very least whatever's available so we should keep like a running tally of, of how to jump I know that it's not only useful for consumables it's actually like a decent defensive item as well but as of right now how to jump has given us three bombs and 14 cents not a bad haul 
No question about that, but uh, I'm interested to see how high that number can possibly climb over the course of this run. We're going to go in here, and uh, yeah, that's awesome. Cancer pick up for three spirit hearts in addition to the wafer effect after we get hit once on a room. And Guppy's Paw, and it's a bit of a weird one, I'll admit. The extra spirit heart helps. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to use Guppy's Paw. The reason I'm not going to use Guppy's Paw is because uh, I want to keep our HP relatively as high as it can be for now so that we can actually play the Blood Bank and maybe get some more money out of it. I don't really think, I, I oftentimes do actually use Guppy's Paw early to put myself in a period of permanent Polaroid invincibility even without having the Polaroid. I think it's kind of a dumb play. It's just, it's a play that I make out of, I wouldn't necessarily say inertia, but you know, I make it out of uh, the fact that I have the item, I might as well use it a little bit. You know, sunk cost fallacy, maybe that's what I'm looking for. So we, uh, doing very well here. It doesn't matter what Blood Bank we play, they have the equivalent odds of paying out. Don't really want any of those, to be 100% honest with you. I'm not going to count this red heart, but it is faster than shooting the poop. When I say I'm not going to count it, I mean I'm not going to count it as like, uh, something that uh, How to Jump gave us. So I'm thinking we're just going to do that. Get in there! Okay, that's relatively good. I forgot about that spirit heart as well. And we're ready for our next boss fight. This is pretty awesome. If we... No. I was like, if we get PhD from the boss, maybe I'll buy the coin first. That won't be necessary. Because we can't get PhD from the boss. Big floor so far, man. It's a little ridiculous here. And of course, we've got everybody's, uh, if not favorite, at least most common second floor boss, Monstro. Monstro's Law in full effect here. Guaranteed deal with the devil. And if we get some more guppy items, I would be thrilled. But mostly, first deal with the devil, set the tone. Give me something that's not terrible. Like priorities, giving me an item, and then giving me an item that doesn't suck. And giving me multiple items would be great as well. But if you if I only had to choose one thing, sure, just give me an item. Don't give me three red chests unless there's two guppy items in them. I know I understand this is a complicated kind of ask here. Probably like 95% of the way done. The fight is over. We got the sweet Lego arms. And inside of our deal with the devil, we get Sacrificial Dagger and Lord of the Pit. Both completely worthwhile. And then we telepills out of the deal with the devil, which means we won't be able to have our other pill, but uh, that's not so bad. Now that we have the ability to fly, how to jump seems worthless. So I am going to sacrifice half a spirit heart to go pick up Guppy's Paw. I'm sorry how to jump. I thought you were fantastic for us there in the early game. As a result of having you, I picked up a ton of money. And I really appreciate that. I do. I'm sorry I couldn't make a better use of you long term. But you you got me along just as long as you needed to, man. Nobody's graduating from Harvard saying sorry to my preschool that uh, I couldn't stay as an alumnus forever, you know? No offense meant with that patronizing comparison. How to jump. You're, you're a superstar in your own way. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of hang out here. They shouldn't explode into me, and Sacrificial Dagger is just a great uh, damage dealer in that respect. Oh, we can get back in and take the pill. I hope it's a health upgrade. Balls of Steel. I would have preferred the health upgrade, but Balls of Steel is fine as well. It's good. Probably the second best thing we could have gotten. Maybe a Tears upgrade. Alright, Catacombs 2. Damage is great. Uh, well, no. Our damage sucks, but our ability to kill things is good as a res- Oh my god, you gave me Magic Mushroom? Our ability to kill things is good as a result of Sacrificial Dagger. Magic Mushroom might, uh, make it more viable for us to use our tiers in the future, but we're still waiting on kind of that amazing deal with the devil or, you know, incredibly lucky item room item that'll take us to the next level and make us feel, uh, a little bit more comfortable using our tiers and one or two shotting these enemies. First damage we've taken in a little bit anyway, but the Magic Mushroom pickup, for free and by accident, is extraordinary. Champion Belt is lovely. A little bit of more damage here, and I don't really mind fighting champions. We're already on hard mode, so it's kind of just, you know, par for the course, basically. And at least we had a half-decent item in our shop. If not, a uh, great item in our shop. I really like it. Stigmata, yet another damage upgrade here. Not a huge damage upgrade necessarily on its own, but all these things are adding up to make us, you know, very, very strong on this particular floor. 
Probably looking at like three shotting, four shotting the champions, I guess. There we go. Financially, we're good. On consumables, we're good. Good future prospects because we got the guppy thing going on and, you know, deal with the devil precedent. It's. Now, it was a little bit of a waste there. But it's a pretty stellar start here as Eden. Way, way too early to call a win necessarily. And we've been making that mistake a lot more recently than I'd like to admit. But uh, either way, certainly an above average start. And picking up three damage upgrades pretty much like right in a row on this floor has made me feel an awful lot better about our chances moving forward. This is going to be a pretty easy fight. Trying not to rely too heavily on Sacrificial Dagger. It'll result in me losing some Spirit Hearts. And Speedball is actually totally fine in my eyes right now. Why not? We have uh, pretty much everything going for us that we could possibly want here. So let's just bank a Speed Upgrade in case we get bad pills in the future. Bad Speed is one of the only things that can possibly ruin a run. That seems, at least at this moment, somewhat unruinable. Okay. This is good stuff. Anytime I can get in there and get like a pretty much dangerless hit with Sacrificial Dagger, I'm going to take advantage of it. You know, if enemies have a brief window where they're not really active, like that one for example, easy enough. Nothing else from this room, but our, our finances are pretty ridiculous, and that extra treasure chest back there is pretty extraordinary. We are going to be a little bit behind the boss rush curve. Who cares? Maybe we'll make it work, maybe we won't. It's not, uh, it's not a priority for me right now, which I'm sure is refreshing for people to hear. Two more bombs we'll get as we come back here. I didn't realize, but we really chose, uh, we chose our directions well to start this one. Found the special rooms very, very quickly. And... I mean, considering we don't really want to buy Red Candle... Seems like we'll be leaving this floor with a lot of money. We'll go back for that. Um, we'll be leaving this floor with a lot of money. Giving us another chance in our, at an arcade. And now, because we have so much money, probably looking at an arcade that I would like to see is uh, Demon Judgment Judgment. Allowing us to pick up maybe like an HP upgrade or something like that, in addition to maybe a deal with the Devil item. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves as we head down to the next floor. Plus, we have the versatility here of Guppy's Pod giving us some, you know, emergency spirit heart injections if we need them. But for now, try for a second secret room here. And some pills. Telepills. Explosive diarrhea. Not that bad. Try to actually pick these up. Balls of steel. We'll take that with us. Uh, Hematomesis, sure, we'll take one. We're gonna take the telepills right now, even though it's gonna slow us down even more. This gives us a chance at getting to the I Am Error Room, which could be awesome. Or, uh, I don't know what else it could give us, actually. There you go, we got the D4. Lovely. <laughs> I, I really don't want to use the D4 on this run. I'm so in love with it. I'll buy this. Do that. Use the D4. Fuck it, let's do it. I'm ready. We are slow. What is up with our tears? Like the worst tears. We got 99 bombs though. Let's just head down to the next floor. Um, it's it's certainly a weird one. We didn't get to take balls of steel pill with us, but whatever. Uh, are our tears as bad as they seem? They don't, they don't seem that terrible. We have daddy long legs going here, but this is definitely going to be a reroll candidate for sure. I don't know why this happens all the time. Our tears are so small. So let's take a quick inventory. We got Pyro, obviously, Mom's Wig, um, Juicy Sack, or the other one, Ball of Tar, I guess it was. Daddy Long Legs is great, Ghost Baby is shit. It's a kind of shit reroll, actually, um, especially when you consider how bad our stats actually are. But Daddy Long Legs, it sucks that we're going to be basically taking that one out of the pool right now. And I'm going to use, you know, Neo Northern Lion D4 strats. I'm not going to be rerolling endlessly into breakfast. Because it's basically a recipe for losing your run, just very, very slowly and in kind of a spectacular fashion, I guess. Um, we're going to be using the D4 until we get a run that I'm in love with, either for its prowess or for its synergies or its weirdness, etc., etc. And once I find that run, we're going to stick with it. I'm not that salty that I that I rerolled the uh, the other one. The other run was great, but uh, this keeps things more dynamic as the run goes on, you know. And it's been a while since I've really embraced the rerolls, so I think uh, I think it was in order. I could be convinced to take this run if we just picked up Brimstone or Mom's Knife from a deal with the devil before the D4 got charged up. Daddy Long Legs really is, I don't want to say underrated, because especially when it comes to the lost stuff, people are like, Daddy Long Legs, you need Daddy Long Legs, Daddy Long Legs Nod Leaf, Daddy Long Legs anything, right? Um, 
But uh, I think I underrated Daddy Long Legs personally. I was just kind of like, it's a good utility item. Nah, man, it's like potentially a game winner. It actually worked. I can't believe that the timing on that was correct. There we go. That went fine. Just two more rooms. We got Stompy here as well. Didn't even realize it until it was... I don't want to say it's too late, but until we didn't get much advantage out of it. Um, yeah, this could have been worse. If we didn't have Daddy Long Legs, these rooms would have taken an awful lot longer. I probably... Oh, we got Best Bud as well. I probably would not have done the uh, boss tra trap room. All right, let's see what we got D4. Tiny Planet Ipecac, huh? Well, we're going to be very thankful that we have 99 bombs. Let's just put it that way. Get Nun's Habit, get this... Get this, get this, and re-roll our whole shit, because that is a terrible run. Now we got Dr. Fetus Chocolate Milk. Why are you stacking up all this gimpy as well here, and stem cells, of course. Why are you stacking up all the good, uh, the good options? Spread the love a little bit. Let me get Chocolate Milk on, like, the, the Ipecac run and put Tiny Planet on the Dr. Fetus run. Oh, this is like, I mean, it's not good. But it's, it's not necessarily god-awful. It's pretty bad. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be sweating our... <laughs> You'll forgive me, I hope. I'm not going to be sweating our uh, item rooms all that much. Mostly interested in just... Basically, we can we can reroll ourselves into whatever items we want. This is going to be so frustrating. Gimpy, or not Gimpy, but Gertie. We do have Gimpy, though. Gertie is so freaking tanky. Thank God we got that pyro pickup so quickly. Oh, we have butt bombs here. Demon baby, stop being an idiot, okay? These bombs need to land in there. Our actual bombs do a lot of damage. We're gonna need those to <laughs> save ourselves from our, you know, our fake bombs. We have one extra life here too, I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, please give me like mom's knife brimstone. Yo, don't try to break into my closet, cat. I want no part of this. I can't hit my own bombs in there because not only do I not have bullets, but Demon Baby has a life of its fucking own. That should do it one way or the other there. Krampus' head. We can't take it for what I'm assuming are obvious reasons. Okay, let's go get uh, a few more charges on this. The D4 has not worked out fantastically for us thus far. Remember when I got Speedball and I was like, yeah, we should get that just in case we get the speed upgrades or speed downgrades. This is what's happening here. I think we may also have the Soul. That being said, this run is shit right now. Not, not the run. Our current permutation of items, which is independent somewhat of the run, is shit right now. Um, let's move along. We only got to do three more rooms. In order to get... Oh, no, we have Nun's Habit. But we bought it, and then I think we re-rolled it right after. It's not like it would have mattered. You could have only used it once, but... I guess a little disappointing. So, if the item room is good, we're not going to take it. Weirdly enough. It's not that good. I would rather re-roll this. So, basically, you pick it up if you want it to be re-rolled endlessly. And you leave it there if you want it to give you a better chance of making your next run the run. Please, God, let there be two rooms down here that I can use to improve myself. I can't believe that Tiny Planet Ipecac run, man. Just like two items I could have a fun time with, just not together. When the lights go down in the city When the run is looking shitty Please. At least I want the nickel at least like I don't necessarily care that much about the individual pennies, but We need the nickel there um, Sure use puberty why why the heff not? Um, all right, we're gonna be stuck with this for a couple more rooms. It's not Crazy bad. It's not dire, but I hate it Could probably knock that key out of there. Do we have the soul? Yeah, we definitely have the soul. But I'm not a soldier. <laughs> Alright, anything? I'm starting to lose my mind a little bit on this run. Up in here, or really anywhere for that matter. No second secret room up here that I could find at least. 
down to the next floor. What a twist on this run. Uh, more guppy, more guppy dreams. Mmm, hematemesis and uh, telepoles. Alright, this should be easy. I'm gonna drop some uh, butt bombs, because two butt bombs, three butt bombs, somewhere in there, even if they don't hit directly, should be enough to start picking up some KOs. And that was indeed correct. Thank you, Demon Judgment. One more room. One more room, baby. That's all we need. Reroll the shit out of that run before anything worse can happen. Okay, money equals power. Guillotine. Stompy of some sort. Maggie's bow. 2020. Bob's brain. This might be a run we can work with. Our tiers are small. Oh, we have $3 bill. Our tiers are small. But small tiers are not necessarily bad. Oftentimes they are. And it's also, you know, we can build damage. It's not guaranteed, of course, but we're definitely, like, a lot stronger than we used to be. And it's kind of just a cool-looking run, isn't it? Am I crazy there? I don't know what's making our tiers, like, literally pink. Is that Charm Shot? Or is it $3 bill giving us Charm Shot? Or is it $3 bill giving us something else? I... Straight up, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Fire Mind, but I do love that we're actually able to kill enemies here relative to where we were, you know, moments ago. We might have Fire Mind for real here, not just $3 bill. Sure, we got extra hot bombs. Check in and see. I got a fever of 103. I think I may just roll with this on this run, to be honest with you. I think this might be my, my permutation right here. Oh, I didn't realize we could fly. Lord of the Flies. Alright, just keep firing as much as you can. We got at least another deal with the devil or two coming here. Money equals power gives us a huge damage up potential. And you know what? Fuck my donation machine now that I think about it. Money equals power, ability to fly, Lord of the Flies, $3 bill. Like, there's... Oh, I didn't mean to buy that fucking guillotine, man. There's outs for us here that I'm, I'm really appreciative of. So if I could just get rid of our goddamn... Uh, not guillotine, but if I could get rid of uh, D4, I would love to. I'm so paranoid I'm accidentally going to hit the space bar. I'm only going to take us up to 50 cents here. We'll just play it simple to start with. can barely see that bomb in there, but it, it existed. I promise. There we go. 51 cents. And that'll give us a nice little hefty damage bonus, which uh, we did not have before. Bombs are key. Interesting. Oh, right, Stompy. That's the other thing is, we, if we wish, we can use our head as an orbital. We must have uh, Virgo or Celtic Cross. Land a Bob's Brain shot in here. Well, you know, if Fire Mine wants to do the damage, that's fine by me as well. I got very confused. So we do have Charm Shots. We got a weird intersection of like some permanent uh, tier effects and then some $3 bill effects and then sometimes like a little of both, I think. Yeah, okay. Alright, I, I think I'm, I'm not gonna fuck around that much. I know that there's a lot of space left on this floor. We've already been to our item room, we've already been to our shop. I'm kind of feeling like, just don't fuck with it. <laughs> like, keep your momentum high. He's in a real bad place here. Hopefully we get a deal with the devil and hopefully we get some damage upgrades or guppy chances. Ball of bandages, that's fine too. I guess in a way it's a blessing that we get to keep the uh, D4 because if we find ourselves you know, later in the game being like, this run is not strong enough, then... Oh good, there was no chance for an arcade on that last floor anyway. So we can get an arcade on this floor and play the bejesus out of it. But um, we can fight. We first off, you can use the D4 almost as like a health upgrade. Weirdly enough, you you reroll your shit run into a better run, and it usually gives you HP ups in the process. Bombs are key. Keep it to Mises. I think we just save it. Reroll my whole run. No, thank you. Tower card. Nothing special there. Nickel is very nice. Another range upgrade. We keep bombs or key in case we get like Guppy's tail or something like that. It's a strange run. <laughs> it's like I'm, you know, this run is like my average run is Jay Giles Band, and this is like Captain Beefheart. It's like the difference between Centerfold and like fucking Trout Mask Replica. 
It makes me such a poser because I know the name of the Captain Beefheart album, but I gave you the single of the Jay Giles Band one, which I don't think is fair. The Jay Giles Band album is actually called Freeze Frame, and it has the famous song of the same name. You know, Freeze Frame. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen movie trailers. There's Dry Baby. Death card. Oh, two of those. Don't mind if I do. Best death card of the day so far. It's not that heady praise, I guess. Two of spades. Let's pop it. And you know what? Now we can probably use bombs are key. Can I pick? Thank you. Now I can probably use bombs are key relatively guilt free, and we'll go pick up those bombs down there. No interest really in the fool card. Take the strength card. Very little interest in the strength card, but it's there. And I'm enjoying that Fire Mind is popping down some fires in the middle of the level. Thank God they're not dangerous to us. Money equals power. We're so close to 99 cents. I'm so sorry, donation machine, but it's just, it's convenient. I'm gonna leave, because I hate spiders. In real life, not really that bothersome for me. Um, in the game, super annoying. We'll go to the, this bombing. So that's gonna take us like 85, 84, somewhere in there. 85. And then I was like, we're gonna donate! <laughs> no, 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 we're not. Wait, is Blue Candle in here? Yeah, okay, never mind. So we'll go to 70 with Blue Candle. Blue Candle's gonna really help out our damage substantially more than, you know, 0.6 damage up. And we're probably gonna get more money back anyway, but... For now, we'll open with some Blue Candle action. And we got a really, really good looking run here. It's weird. I'm not gonna deny that for a second, but it's uh, it's a run that should be winnable. Have we been to our item room? This run is like, this is why like, when you go to school, teachers are like, we're gonna watch a movie. And you're like, yeah, and then like, we're gonna do it at the end of the day. That's because the kids get too riled up, man, if you start watching the movie right in the middle of the day, right? You gotta watch it at the end of the day, so they can kind of like mellow out with it. Our run got zany right off the cut. And as a result, I'm like, maybe we should just skip all the item rooms. That's a bad idea. Let's stick to the fundamentals a little bit. I think we might legitimately have Spoonbender. What was the movie, I'm interested in this, that you guys watched all the time in, in school? Everybody's got one. We watched Armageddon probably about 30 to 40 times in in my school years. I could stay awake just to hear your breathing. We'll take it. Oh yeah, Guppy. Oh baby, a Guppy. That is a, uh, well that's Proptosis on this room. What is this, Algis and Hagalaz. Makes my life easier there. I guess we take Algis? Like we didn't have any truly spectacular uh, other options here. See where that F we're going. All right, there's our item room. So that's what we're gonna go for. It's a it's a very very confusing run right here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be happy when it's over, but not because I'm disliking it, but because it's uncomfortable. In the same way that perhaps you might be happy when a roller coaster ride is over with. That doesn't mean you hate roller coasters. It just means you're like, oh man, I'm a little sick. I don't know. I'm trying to look for like my second magic mushroom. I guess. Take the Algiz rune with us. You don't lose with the Algiz rune, it's just too good. Um, Samson's chain was, you know, relatively meaningless considering we already had Stompy. So the Stompy elements are handled for us, the crushing elements I should say, and then, you know, we have Dry Baby for the bullet heli type elements, we really want to stay away from bullets. Um, whether or not we do is an interesting question. I, our damage seems quite good but also very strange. Like our range is bad or... I think it's just that our our tiers are so small. We'll just head down to the next floor. We just have really, really small tiers. We're 26 minutes here, not a big deal. And it, it always makes me think that our tiers are bad, but that's not necessarily true. So how's our, how's our life looking right now? It... Eh, might as well. Oof, easy there, Samson's Chain. Uh, it could be better. I would like it to be better, but, um... It's not anything too dangerous yet. 
if we get another guppy item, this shit is like beyond sorted. Because remember, we also have hive mind. We totally have spoon bender. Um, yeah, we also have hive mind. Just <laughs> really sloppy walking over these rocks here. I hope you forgive any kind of like lapses. They're not all due to the fact that I got this weird ass run going on here, but they're not all independent of that either. Tick could be interesting. I mean, in a way, I'm kind of like, why not? But right, when you get proptosis, remember that uh, you also have Bob's brain. Not a good situation for us to have uh, my reflection in, but got a lot of sights landing there anyway, and that'll be no uh, deal with the devil for us. But we'll head down to the next floor regardless. So the guppy dream is not looking too fantastic here. Just, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll go back for the bombs. We gotta be very nervous about our HP, because we have no legitimate guaranteed means of respawning. So, most important thing, even though it might seem like we've got a really good like offensive run going here, the most important thing is just playing it super cool. Being, being a little more defensive than usual. Not letting Bob's brain steal damage off us that we shouldn't let it steal. Uh, we could play the blood bank that is inevitably in that arcade and then go to that boss trap room. But I find that, you know, a little scary. That was Bob's brain with blue candle. I'll take the hit for it, but at the same time, I'm calling a little bit of bullshit for it as well. Well, open this. And... I mean, I'll, I'll pick up the keys, but... Not likely to be that meaningful either way. Joker? Two of diamonds. Okay, so there's money equals power maxed out. That's good. Uh, we could use Algae's rune to save a spirit heart, but it's so much more valuable in, in other circumstances. We'll just take the hit here and hope for you know better days in here. No such luck. Oh well. It happens. Telepills. Telepills always kind of interesting consequences. I'm not going to go out of my way to pick up a 91st key if it shows up and I'm on my way I'll pick it up but there you go I deviated from it by accident and uh, we're not gonna go back for it if I get a bombs or key pill I can still open 19 freaking chests so I'm gonna do so all right work with me buddy work with me buddy we are looking straight out of the 60s right now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that it's, a, it's an interesting, a distinctive look. Let's put it that way. Alright, we could use that HP. I'm kind of amazed that even with Money Eagles Power, we're not one-shotting those guys. Money Eagles Power, Death's Touch. Uh, and then whatever we get th from $3 Bill. Still takes a Bob's Brain Shot to finish the job, apparently. But apparently we found a Tinted Rock in the process there. Like, I'm trying not to blow up like dangerous rocks, but it's very difficult for me not to because Samson's Chain... Oh, yeah, sorry, Algezrun. We gotta give ourselves the guppy chance here. Samson's Chain doesn't give a shit. Like, when I when I walk, Samson's Chain is flopping all about here, you know? Like that, I'm very surprised we didn't blow up that uh, bomb rock there. Probably should use the Algiz rune on the Mom's Heart boss fight. It's just my way of saying, you know, I know what I I know what I should do even though I'm not going to do it. I don't really have a good excuse except that I think it's going to be over quickly regardless. Lemon party. Balzo steal. Probably should have waited on that one too, but... You know, what Mama don't know won't hurt her. Alright, we got an invincibility here. Use guillotine. Get in there. And that is a pretty good setup. I don't know how to dodge this shit with guillotine. I'm just, I'm doing my best here. Okay, up to the cathedral. HP is looking even better than it used to. That's not bad at all. Pop the Joker card quickly. And there's nine lives, which will give us Guppy. I think, yeah, we got cat ears. <laughs> I was confused for a second. So now we should have a ton of flies and we have hive mind. So, and we have nine lives. So I'm expecting that this is pretty much over if it wasn't over already. Some things, uh, some things never change. Guppy showing up in our exact hour of need. Okay, let's not Bob's brain ourselves to death, though. We're not really balling so out of control that I feel like we want to try to beat Blue Baby and the rest of the chest with only one HP forever, even with multiple lives. I think we got it in us, but I'd rather not even have to find out, you know? 
What did we spend money on? Must have been hit by a greed way back there or something. Oh, the judgment, of course. So we'll go back and get this. And, uh, oh, yep, that was, uh, that was very dumb of me. Some tooth shots in there. We'll be hoping for, well, enemies like this that give us spirit hearts, but on the chest, anything gives us more HP, more damage, or uh, a better rate of fire. Those will be, you know, princely pickups for us to get. More flies, better flies, or, you know, the ability to live long enough to spawn enough flies to beat the floor. Normally, I hate this room, but I don't think it's that bad, even though I did take a hit there. I don't think it's that bad when we have, like, a roving band of, you know, fly soldiers that want to kill everything for us. Works out in my favor a little bit more. Um, we'll try top left, because I want to avoid as many big rooms as possible in case we got, like, super envy or something. And we have proptosis here. So our flies are going to be great, but our actual, like, individual tiers are hard to hit with, although also very good. As long as we can just get down to the chest, it gives us a great shot. I mean, I think we're going to win. I'm not trying to act like we're going to lose on this run. But uh, as long as we can get down to the chest, I'll be happy with our performance on this floor at the very least. Just so that we don't have to worry about, you know, losing six of our nine lives on Isaac or anything like that. Or, you know, six of our ten question mark lives. Six of our ten lives on Isaac? We got lucky to not put ourselves in the danger zone with Bob's brain there. I don't really care about our 96th key. Really glad I took that Joker card, though. Smart money might have been on Algus there. And that wouldn't have necessarily been a bad thing. Would have saved us some HP on, on a room. I don't know which room yet. But um, Joker card ended up saving the day there for sure. All right, we actually we, we blew it out of proportion a little bit. We're doing fine on HP, relatively speaking. Curse O the Maze. Unicorn Stump. Mm, spider Babby, Little Chub, Spider Butt. Lots of spider items. Um, I'm gonna, I am gonna roll Unicorn Stump. The reason being, we have Guillotine. I don't think we have Midas Touch. That would be awesome, though. Uh, the problem with this is going to be we're not gonna generate, like, that many flies. But we're going to be doing so much extra damage that I don't think it really ends up matter- Ah, dang it. I don't think it really ends up mattering that much. Like, if we open a room by taking away half of their HP, then any flies that we spawn after that is just gravy as far as I'm concerned. Infestation 2 is a disgustingly good item here. Just straight up gross. If we find a room with a lot of enemies in it, you know, our spiders will do so much goddamn damage. Considering we have Hive Mind. And great damage. Oh, we're going to be doing this up already. Okay. Here's what I think. Attack the shit out of you to open this. Wait till you start spawning flies of your own, and then we pop Unicorn Stump. And that was an easy finish there. That Infestation 2 pickup, man. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We'll be back with an Isaac run next. Don't go anywhere, unless this is the last episode uploaded. In which case, wait a few hours, and I'll see you next time.